nothing draws fans to the pub on a Tuesday lunch hour quite like soccer, especially when the men's national team is playing, giving Canadians one of their last chances to see the squad together before November's World Cup. This is the best team Canada's ever put on a pitch ever. It's amazing. It's, a, it's incredible to see Canada playing against these players. While fans expected to see a noon kickoff, the first 18 minutes of the match wasn't shown in Canada, apparently due to technical issues. Just the latest bump on this country's road to the World Cup. Whenever you're trying to grow a sport, both from a participation standpoint, but from a commercial standpoint, there's going to be growing pains and hiccups. Although the squad has energized soccer fans in this country like no other men's team in four decades, behind the scenes, the players complain they've been treated unfairly. In June, they boycotted their own game in Vancouver over a contract dispute. Canada's national teams can't agree with the country's soccer association on how to share new World Cup revenue. Good ball across. Then last week, this happened. And it's Jonathan David. Goal scorer Jonathan David mounting a protest of sorts, covering the Nike logo on his jersey. The 31 other nations heading to the world's biggest tournament are all getting new uniforms, but not Canada. The fact that the federation, that Nike wasn't ready for this, I think is, I think it's unacceptable, to be honest with you. On the pitch, this time, the Canadians faced their stiffest competition in recent memory. Suarez. Falling 2-0 to Uruguay. To Nunez, knocks that down. That broadcast saw more challenges just as the team faces bigger battles ahead. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.